before we move on, Bunny. Yes. I have a prediction for 2018. It's still the beginning of the year. Okay. It, and I have a prediction for 2018. A prediction that I sincerely hope is wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is 100% correct. Bunny, the world loves reboots, right? Yes. New Baywatch. New, new Star Baywatch. Wars. How the fuck? Seriously. It's Baywatch. Yeah, not only that, but but let's look at the big picture here. I may have been the first person ever who is not David Hasselhoff to mention Baywatch before Star Wars. <laughs> like, no one does that. Mm -hmm. Except maybe a coked out Yasmin Bleeth. Yes. Or but, just Yasmin Bleeth. Yeah, yeah. But... I fully believe that 2018 is going to be the birth of a shocking new reboot. You know what they're rebooting? What? 9-11. Oh, all right. Yeah, I yeah, can see that. Reboot. They're going to reboot 9-11, Bunny. I mean, this would be the year. I mean, freaking, they're bringing Murphy Brown back. Are they? Yeah, they're bringing Murphy Brown back. With Candace Bergen for the, they want to do Murphy Brown in the fake news uh, climate is what they want to do. Uh huh. Mm, kind of so makes freaking, sense. Yeah, but still, come up with something uh, fucking gonna, new. Yeah, so they're gonna reboot 9/11, Bunny, and it's all Donald Trump's idea. So, okay, we've had this podcast since October-ish of 2014, and the one topic we've covered a number of times is George W. Bush and 9-11, the original 9-11, 9-11 yeah. Prime, mm -hmm. as, as it will soon be called. It astounds me, and it has astounded us numerous times on this podcast, how George W. Bush didn't take the threats of terrorism seriously, so his carelessness essentially allowed 9-11 to happen. Mm-hmm. And yet people loved him. <laughs> and it's, it's still so confusing. Like, like, oh, I feel so much safer under George W. Bush. But it's like, wait, but 9-11 happened under his watch. You could say he was, it happened because of him. Why do you now feel safer? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. It just, it made no sense. If Obama, if 9-11 happened during Obama, Obama's administration, he would have been lynched and tarred and feathered and drawn and quartered. He would have been tango and cash. They would have crucified yes. him in the town square. Mm -hmm. But but he was black. And I say that because George W. Bush allowed 9-11 to happen. It happened. And yet after 9-11, that somehow made George Bush stronger. Yes. You know, he was a saint and he was beloved. He, he was a but that's, hero. But that's that's just the Republicans using the dark forces. Yeah. You know. So Donald, so so this is what's happening in 2018. This is my prediction. Donald Trump is going to be seeing his ridiculously low approval ratings. He sees his approval rating going down. He sees Robert Mueller getting closer and closer to a conviction. Donald Trump is panicking. He knows that the midterm elections are coming up and he knows he has to do something drastic to try and make people like him and vote Republican. That is why Donald Trump allowed the U.S. government to shut down so he can have something terrible to blame on his enemies. That is some cold-blooded, lying, manipulative, Machiavellian, Game of Thrones, Sesame Street shit right there. Yes, it is. And we tried to warn people. We did. Uh -huh. White people said, I'm voting for Trump because he's going to run the nation like one of his businesses. And so all of 2016, Bunny and I both were screaming, but all of his businesses fucking failed. Yes. Trump casinos, Trump airlines, Trump stakes, Trump tampons, they're all bankrupt. And he will bankrupt America. Even, too. even Trump prostitutes didn't pay off. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But White America said, look, I hear you. But really, he's not Hillary, and that's all that counts. Yes. That, so when Donald the Roy Moore defense, yeah. So when Donald Trump sees that the that the the government shutdown failed and his numbers are still in the shitter, that is when the shit's going to hit the fan, and we're going to get a new nine eleven. It's going to be massive. 
It's going to be an unbelievable tragedy. And who's going to be sweeping in like our new savior, even though it was all his fault? Donald fucking Trump. And people are going to buy it, too. Trump will be seeing the bodies and the carnage and immediately start blaming all of his enemies. Oh, it's Mexico's fault. It's China's fault. CNN did it. And the real sad part is that all the warning signs are just going completely ignored. For example... Mm-hmm. January 14th, 2018, the Washington Post had an article with the headline, New Alarm mm-hmm. Among Republicans That Democrats Could Win Big This Year. And it was just another one of those articles about how, oh, hey, Democrats could really win in this uh, midterm election. But buried, buried far deep into the bottom of that article was, a, was one sole paragraph, which I will be reading to you now. Cool. All right. In private conversations, Trump has told advisors that he doesn't think the 2018 election has to be as bad as others are predicting. He has referenced the 2002 midterms when George W. Bush and Republicans fared better after the September 11th terrorist attacks. Mm -hmm. He's literally calling his next move Babe Ruth style. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm like, hey, 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 maybe we won't win too bad this year during the midterm elections. Uh, People thought George W. Bush was going to be horrible. And then a horrible terrorist attack happened and everyone loved him. So what I'm saying is uh, don't don't say we're going to lose because we might win. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what terrorists are going to attack? Certainly not me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make fun of a of a of a, a terrorist dictator on Twitter. For no reason. Please don't read into that. Mm -hmm. No one is noticing or cares that Trump wants America, uh, Americans dead, because then he'll be proven right about all of his racist crap. He'll be a freaking emperor. Mm -hmm. And, 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 And no one will care because people will be. Uh, people will be taking offense. Oh, how dare you? How Mm -hmm. dare you make fun of our president? People are dead. Our Mm -hmm. glorious leader. How dare you make fun of him? People are dead. It's basically going to be 9-11 to electric boogaloo. How how dare you talk about guns now? Children are dead. Yeah. And when you realize, when you realize that this is going to happen or that this might happen or that this probably will happen, then his entire first year in office makes sense. He's making fun of uh, the leader of North Korea. He's attacking Mexicans. He's antagonizing Iran. He's moving embassies. He's doing all of this to set up an attack, basically. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, why did they love George W. Bush? Oh, yeah, because of a terrorist attack. Hey, (laughs) Palestine. Fuck Fuck you. (laughs) You all fucking suck. Oh, what are you going to do about it? Go go back home and then cry and then maybe uh, set up some sort of uh, evil uh, terrorist organization to try and take down Americans. Gee, that would make us sad. (laughs) Don't do that. Yeah. There's no way you're going to bomb the Empire State Building or the Super Bowl. You're just not. You're just too pussy to do it. Please don't attack us. Oh, no, you might make me stronger. (laughs) Yeah, it's all crap. It's all crap. It's all crap. But once again, my professionalism has uh, shown through. Uh, This is the second week in a row that I was able to schedule my own breakdown. Ah, cool. Very happy about that. Makes things easier, you know? It does. That is a good thing to be able to schedule it. Uh, you know, you've, you've, you've allotted the time, yep. you know, so nothing is going to really be interfered with too badly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing. 